Good and and welcome to the club. Today I want to show you this multifunctional cob light, whatever a cob is. <laughs> yeah, it's USB C rechargeable. Actually, the first USB C device I own now. <laughs> Uh, it says it has three light functions and yeah they sell this thing this one is from the dollar store the magic place where everything used to cost only one buck but now it doesn't yeah but they sell the same thing on wish and aliexpress and all of those um, chinese websites that are now replacing ebay because ebay sucks nowadays <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's give you a close-up. Yeah, it got a little carabiner hook here. And what looks to be a bottle opener. Well, you can't go wrong with a bottle opener. And now let's see here. We got strong magnet, carabiner hook, and bottle opener. Yeah. We got... USB cable, cup floodlight, and compact size. Okay. Yeah, it is lightweight, that's why I picked it up. Because this is something to keep in pocket, keep in backpack, keep in survival kit. It's light. Yeah, and you don't need batteries. It's not a product I would trust in a real survival situation, but to have it, I have it yeah, as a spare or something, or just in the pocket, it's fine. So, let's take a look inside. We do get instruction manual. Oh, perfect. Um, Instruction manual. We get shortest USB C cable in world. Eh, probably not the shortest. That's fine. Hm, as long as it works. And we get uh, a cable tie. Is this supposed to? I hope I haven't bought a used one. Yeah, we got. A rubber plug to plug the USB-C cable that is very loose. This is not good. We got a... Oh! They didn't even mention the stand! They missed out on the box! Ah, bad advertising. This is, this is a good function. This is good. Then we got the strong magnet. Let's see how strong it is. Yeah, that's... It holds in place. Strong enough. That's barely enough if you have a bit of surface between it. It will do. Now a closer look. Yeah, it got the multi panel LED. Yeah, it feels fine. Oh, they have even. Is this a tripod mount? Let me check this um, by finding my tripod. Tripod, where are you? Uh, too much junk here. <laughs> I'll check it later. But yeah, if this is a tripod mount, that would be a great actual, a great extra feature. And yeah, I think it is. Yeah, no, that, that is a good thing. Yeah, the bottle opener, I mean, it's, it's plastic, but it should open a bottle. The carabiner hook, yeah. Mm, it closes, so you can hook it to something. That's not bad. Um, yeah. Now, the moment of truth. If this doesn't work, I'll be really disappointed. Yay! It works!
And here you can see my camera adapting to the light so you can count the LEDs. It's one, two, three, four, five. Five by five LEDs. That's not bad. And it is really bright in person and you as you see you can't really see my hand or anything because camera is correcting the exposure. So this is bright enough. In a certain situation I'm actually against too bright light, but it dims down. That's always good. And to draw a bit of attention, third function is a go. Sorry if you're light sensitive. I'm not. I actually like this. <laughs> it would be extremely annoying when walking or something, but yeah, if you have to draw attention or something, I switch it to normal again. So now let's check something else. Switch it on, hold the button down, and does it go out automatically? No. Try it again. No. You have to. Ah, it does. Okay. You switch it on. And like this. Switch it on. You hold it. Huh? Interesting. It does. Uh, does it have an extra bright mode? Like I switch it on and then I hold it down. Yeah, it kind of looks like it has a extra bright mode. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, the LED panel works. I don't see any screws. Do I want to break it open to show it on the video? Actually not, because only thing I really don't like is how this rubber thingy is just this is not tight at all, this is just flimsy. This is that's bad. Because this is protecting the electronics. So if you want to use it in rain or something, I recommend you to smear this thing here with some Vaseline to keep it a bit tighter in there. Yeah. Yeah, the cable, yeah, it's a cable, it's fine, and yeah, I like this function here, and now let me check if it does fit on a tripod, I have to search for it. So, now let's test if it fits on a tripod, in this case it's a selfie stick, which should, well, I hope it does. It, it seems like it has no thread in it. I mean, it's. Uh, no. But it is plastic, so it screws on. It doesn't have a thread, but you can force it on there. And then you have a. Very cool looking <laughs> little light on a selfie stick. That's perfect if you have to reach down into something or you just screw it on a normal tripod. But yeah, it works. It'd be hard to get off again. But it should do the trick. I like that. Overall, so far, I like it. So, uh, just to confirm my bargain here, we got the same thing here on Timu. And it's more expensive. And they have even dropped the price here from five bucks, uh, six bucks actually. And I don't know if this is including shipping, but still, well, I saved. For the eight cents, and I did support a local business. Yeah, even a dollar store is better than 
an online shop. <laughs> yeah. The only thing here is waterproof, no, absolutely not. But otherwise, yeah. Yeah, that's the application that I can see. Lightweight, yeah, that's that's true. But it's not waterproof, not at all. Three modes, that's actually wrong. It has a secret mode. Um, yeah. You hold the button down and it bloop, gets a bit higher intensity. So, it's four modes. Yeah, and well, that's the whole stuff here. Besides the... <laughs> yeah. Uh, 180 degrees adjustable, <laughs> whatever, but yeah, no, I saved money. And you can too, by shopping locally. <laughs> yeah. And now I will fully charge it and let it run to see if it works. But first I will use it a few days to see if the battery deteriorates. And yeah, the only thing I really don't like is this... Come on! This is just a tiny bit too small. It is, it's just not good. I mean, there's directly a hole in it. And focus camera. Thanks. Yeah, there's a hole in it, so... Yeah. This is the only thing that I don't like. This is, this has to be closed. It has to stay closed. Otherwise, yeah, nice, very nice. I mean, yeah, they could have included the thread here so you can easier screw it in, but yeah, it's plastic, you can force it on it. And once the screw has cut a thread, then there is a thread. Yeah, a magnet. Always good to have a magnet. I mean, yeah, if the magnet is strong enough, you could make a rope on here and put it down somewhere to, I uh, don't know, fish your keys out of a train or something. <laughs> yeah, let me see how strong this magnet actually is. Let me find something made out of metal. So, yeah. lift them, of course, and they slide away, but yeah, not bad actually for such a small magnet, must be a neodymium magnet, you got this ring around it and it seems to be fairly well glued in, the only thing I don't like is, I don't see any way to open this, I'm gonna wait for Big Life to make a video on this, <laughs> yeah, I think it's just yeah, it's just stuck together. Let's see if we can get it open without destroying it. Would love to see what battery it's in here. Uh, uh, okay, press the button, get blind. <laughs> yeah, I just don't see any way to open this without destroying it, and it's. I mean, it's two bucks, and I will. If it fails, I will open it. I will test it now for a few weeks, and if I'm satisfied... Oh, look how this camera makes my hands look like I'm a corpse. <laughs> yeah, it's white balance is not really good here. But yeah, I will test this for a few weeks, and then... Yeah, then I will post the video. If it fails, then you will now see me angrily cutting it open, seeing why it failed. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little light. You can put it here, in a tent, illuminate something, or hang it somewhere, stick it somewhere. So far, the only thing that I really don't like is this here, come on, this is just, this is supposed to be, I mean, they don't say it's waterproof, but then I can just rip this thing off here, yeah. But anyways, it's interesting. 
I'm certainly curious how this thing holds up. And yeah, of course, we got the tiniest cable here. Oh, that's it here. That is very... Oh, yeah, now it's okay. Yeah. It wiggles the mainboard around a bit. It's probably just a USB charge controller and then the... And <laughs> each time you press something in, you press the button here. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I don't like is this rubber piece here and... They could have included a thread here so you can easier screw it on, but yeah, you can of course screw it on, it works. And probably end up wrapping this thing off here. Well, let's well, see. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nicey nice. For two bucks, you can't get much more, I suppose. <laughs> so, now I've plugged it in here on top of my computer, and as you can see, and I chilled it a bit, there is a red charging indicator LED in it, and once it's full, it either turns green, blue, or it just goes out. Yeah, yeah not a bad product. So, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. By now you definitely know that I was annoyed of this little rubber plug. <laughs> yeah, and if you want to support me, well, consider using my PayPal tip jar. No OnlyFans for now, sorry. So, there it is, fully charged now, and the light is green. I couldn't let you go without showing you. <laughs>